Radio check out the crap. Radio check. Hi everyone, welcome to another DCS multiplayer video. Uh, we're looking at World War II this time. Since I recently picked up the uh, DCS channel pack uh, while it was on sale, for the specific reason of playing on Growling Sidewinder's new World War II server, and so I thought I'd give my first impressions here. Uh, now, truth be told, this is technically my second uh, attempt at flying on this server. The first one was the day before, and I just had some weird connection issues. I don't know if they're on my end or the server's end. I had a lot of weird rubber banding, like a Dora taking off in front of me sideways, and planes that were right in my sights, then just disappearing off to the side. The second time I loaded in, absolutely no issues, absolutely fine frame rate and uh, ping, and so took off no issues at all, flying around in it, really good experience, and within just a couple of minutes of taking off and heading over the channel, I spotted some contacts. So fly towards them and I see they're taking AA, and that's a friendly ship down there. So I know that they're enemies. The AA does a really good number on them, down from four contacts. Very quickly, I can only see two, and one of those seems to stall out before one. So I give chase on the remaining one. The one that's not leaking fuel. Now I'm flying the P-51 here, uh, just because I've got used to it on the single player campaign. I really enjoy flying P-51. So I thought I'd make a nice, easy introduction to the server. And of course these are either going to be 190s, or they're going to be uh, 109s. Either way, I need uh, to really bake my engine to try and get close enough to them. I see the one ahead start to take evasive action. So he must have spotted me. So I start to dive down on him. At this point I'm pretty sure that they are AI. Turns out afterwards they are indeed AI. So they were flying in a flight of four like that. But still the AI in this game can absolutely turn me apart when it wants to, so still need to keep an eye on things. Here as I'm getting closer, you can see that he is trailing uh, black uh, smoke of some sort, so he has actually taken a hit from the uh, AAA, which puts me in a very good position. Just me chasing down a wounded fighter here. I probably could take the shot from this range, but decide just to get closer. And give it a quick burst. Those with green tracer rounds coming up, which are normally Axis, so I think I'm over flying uh, enemy ships here. And as I turn around, I realize there is another friendly fighter here trying to do the same thing. Stumble about on the stool, salute so sight of my target, come back around. At this point, I'm a little bit nervous because I know there is a, another Mustang flying around the area. I desperately don't want my first experience on the server to be shooting down a friendly, so I do get nice and close. At this point, I can see his wings, but they do look rather shiny. And so I at first sort of think he might be the Mustang, so I don't commit to the attack. So I fly over him and see that distinctive. 109 shape. Now, of course, I'm in a 
less than ideal position. You can see him just trying to make for the non decoys there. Friendly Mustang comes in again. Goes for another guns pass. The 109 still flying. I mess up that attack rather solidly, but thankfully I managed to pull out before hitting the water. I don't feel bad at all about trying to get the kill here, not just leaving it to the other Mustang since I did engage this guy first, the other Mustang came in from behind, so if anything he's trying to steal my kill, not the other way around. Really at this point I just want a nice first sortie and want to bring this guy down before he can get home. Now on that last pass I realise that his engine's actually cut out and he pops his hatch just as I make that last pass. Uh, last shooting pass. So I don't know if I took out his engine in the previous very quick uh, pass or if he has already uh, sort of damaged the engine at first and was just trying to limp back home. Either way he doesn't make it there. And here's where Growling Sidewinder's server kind of comes into its own. I am over German occupied France here, which is stuck very uh, tip of Calais, that's the front of the Mustang coming around. He sees that there are AA sites down there and begins to strafe them. But the AA decides that it would prefer to shoot at me, and I get hit very, very badly. Uh, perhaps seeing a bit of a theme with my DCS runouts here, it's AA that gets me more than anything else. At this point, I do have quite a bit of a problem. You can see my wing is in a very bad shape. Uh, I could probably fit my hand out some of the holes in the glass here. And I can see the C through my left wing, which isn't ideal. Obviously the black all over the front of the plane there is not really what you want to see. So I'm not really sure how well this game tracks uh, sort of bailing out and surviving, but just for the sake of immersion, I want to try and at least save my pilot at this point. So I do my best to make it back as far as I can. The normal priorities are try and save the pilot, try and save the plane, try and land the plane. Now, uh, you can see here, the engine's not doing too great. The temperature needle is um, massively over the red line. And that's because I have zero uh, oil left. I've completely drained the oil, so this is just getting by on uh, the water carburetor air. Really not what you want to do. So I'm trying to lower the manifold pressure to try and limp this thing home. It's not going really ideally. Well, I'm just doing my best to try and get as close to Britain as I possibly can. See the white cliffs of Dover up ahead. Unfortunately, there goes the engine. So at this point, just quickly looking at my situation, it's pretty obvious I'm not going to make it back to uh, the shore. But there are quite a lot of allied ships in the channel here, and so I decide that a good plan would be just to get as close to the allied ships as possible before bailing out. So while I'm just gliding in here, i uh, just sort of summarise my thoughts. I actually really, really like this server. Uh, said I bought the channel uh, map pack really because of this server, seeing some of the videos that Ground Sidewinders put out seemed exactly the kind of thing that I enjoy, and I absolutely have no regrets about that. Really looking forward to getting into this server more often. 
it is just such a good experience. Just the whole takeoff, fly for maybe a couple minutes, then immediately there is things to do. There are ground targets to engage, there are ships to engage, and there are enemy uh, planes, both real uh, pilots in them and plenty of NPC planes, so even if it's a bit quiet, uh, you can still get in some action there. Uh, really what this reminds me of a bit is Enduring Confrontation in War Thunder. It's that same kind of experience of just take off, fly in the direction of the enemy and find something to do, which I really like. I think this is really good fun, exactly what DCS World War II needs getting more people into it. So big thank you to Growling Sidewinder for making this server. I'm sure I'll be putting in many, many more hours in the time to come. And uh, as always, if you like this video, um, do leave a like and leave a comment if you want to see more. I do have a couple of planes in uh, the World War II module. Got P-51, obviously, and the 109K. And I do also have the um, Dora as well. You see here I jump out uh, when I decide that I'm not really going to be getting much closer to the pl uh, carriers over there. But I figure I'm close enough that my pilot will be rescued by their ships. So one plane shot down, albeit an NPC plane, but still counts. One Mustang lost, thanks to AA. But I've had a lot of fun. So anyway, if you like this video, uh, as I said, uh, just let me know and I'll do more. Uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, otherwise, I hope you all take care, have fun, and hopefully I will see you on Growling Sidewinders World at War server.